key ingredients for a good wheat paste are just uh, plain wheat flour, like this, water, and optional a little bit of sugar. So what we're going to do is bring our four parts water to the foil. Sorry. And while that's happening, we're going to measure out one part flour. So that's your ratio, one part flour to four parts boiling water. And then a little bit of white sugar towards the end. Everyone thinks their wheat paste is the best recipe. Um, mine's certainly not the best recipe, but I know it works. And once it does reach boiling point, which is very close now, it's starting to bubble, uh, we put in our one part flour. I actually run it through a sieve again, because uh, what you really don't want with your wheat paste is bubbles of flour, little clumps of flour. You want it to be as smooth as possible. So then we just whisk it like hell, usually for about two to five minutes. And like I said, we're just trying to get all of those clumps out. Be careful if you're like me and have a small pot so it will boil and bubble and the glue is hot. After it's been boiled and mixed for a while, it starts to get really thick, gluey, porridge-like consistency. I'm confident you've got the majority of those clumps out. You can take it off the heat. Um, and then you want to pour it into your container. Refrigerated, I actually am not sure what the benefit of it is, but again, it's just the recipe that I've been taught. A quarter of a large bowl for that. So that your paste is extra sticky, you want to add the white sugar that we were talking about before. Now, you want to use your wheat paste within one to two days of making it, uh, and you also want to keep it in a sealed container, preferably in the refrigerator. 